The Shroom and Doom update for Grounded finally gave us access to the Haze Lab. The Haze Lab is only partially complete, but does contain a new Burgle chip. In this video, I'll show you how to get through the Haze Lab so you don't miss anything currently inside. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now is a great time to do so so you don't miss any future Grounded videos. Let's get started. Alright, so the Haze Lab is on the bottom left corner of the map down here in the Haze area. If you've never been to the Haze area, it, ha it is covered with weed killer because there's a weed killer um, thing sitting somewhere over here. So the Haze area used to only be in this area over here where it looks like it's blue now because it turned to nighttime. It has actually been extended in the Shroom and Doom update, so the Haze now extends beyond this. It actually goes all the way to the rake and over part of this rock. So you might be familiar, there were bombardier beetles up here. Now the Haze covers that entire rock, so when you're making your way over here, it's okay to go over till you get to the haze using like whatever armor, whatever armor headpiece you want to use or helmet. But once you actually get to the haze, I definitely recommend putting on a gas mask because it's going to take a while to get over to this thing and also inside of it. It's not that big, but one gas mask should last you. But let's take a look at my inventory real quick so I can show you what I recommend. So I definitely recommend going in with a full health gas mask and if possible, either a full health uh, chest plate and full health shin guards that are ladybug. They're the best, they're the, the strongest armor in the game. I'll definitely rec I'd definitely recommend that. If you'll notice, like later on, as I'm going through, my when I come out, my armor is almost completely destroyed because of infected weevils. So there's infected weevils in the haze area, and there's a lot of infected weevils inside of the actual haze lab, even though it's not that large. And if you get a couple of them exploding on you, they're gonna do a ton of damage. There's also a new robot in there. So the Taze teaser in there, which you'll probably remember from other labs. There's also the Arker, which has a battery pack on his back. Now, in our run through, we ended up, it was me and my son, we ended up just both using the mint mace and we just completely destroyed all the robots. So they didn't actually do any damage, but the Arker can do a AOE damage where he shoots out like an energy beams, uh, energy ball. So I would definitely recommend going in with a strong weapon, strong armor, and you want to make sure you have at least one gas mask. And it's probably a safe bet to go in with a couple healing items, either some fiber bandages or some heal bossa in case you take some, uh, some damage. And then you want to have a bow and arrow to take care of the infected weevils if possible because as you know even if you hit them you gotta they're gonna explode no matter what so you want to try to do deal range damage to them that way two arrows with the insect bow should take care of them without them blowing up in your face so anyway that's gonna be that's that's basically the setup you're gonna want going in there of course make sure you have uh try to go in full health full health full uh hunger and full thirst so we i always carry food with me as well as a full canteen just in case i need to eat or drink so that's the setup I recommend. So let's hop on in. I'll show you the how to get through it, how to get through the Haze Lab, where to get all the raw science that's in there, and where to get the Burg the Burgle Haze chip. Okay, so we're entering the Haze Lab. Now the Haze Lab, as of this update, has been opened. However, it appears that it's not complete. So as you can see, when you're walking in here, the first room, the entire Haze Lab is actually engulfed in the haze. So you're gonna need to have a gas mask equipped the entire time. This first room has a research table in it, but not much else. And we got this tunnel that leads down to the main area of the Haze Lab. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to see. Now, there's a couple kind of enemies in here. We got the Taze Tease, and then we got the Arker, which is the new robot, which we'll see in just a second. We end up taking care of them pretty quickly, so that's him right there with the battery on his back. So because we killed them so quickly, it ended up they ended up not even being able to do their attack. So definitely recommend having the mint, the mint um, mace. And then through this door over here to the left, there are, I think, five or six of the infected weevils. So you're going to definitely want to make sure you try to take care of them with arrows. Otherwise, they're going to explode on you. And as I mentioned in the intro, you're going to make sure you want to have the ladybug armor. Because as you can see, I full uh, my ladybug armor is pretty much full on the way over here. And it's almost gone from these ex infected weevils. Because when the infected weevils explode, they do a ton of damage. So there's only two areas really to search down here. This room... There's not much in here, but there's a hidden area you can jump up back in here. And right now, the only thing that's back in this area is going to be some uh, broad bursts that are on. There's one on the table, and then there's also a couple up on the shelves to the left here. Other than that, there and then the granola, there's granola bars below them. Other than that, there's really nothing back in this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back out. I guess they're probably going to add more at some point in the future. So we're going to head back out and... Yeah, we got to heal up a little bit real quick because we took a little bit of damage coming in here. Especially my son took a lot of damage from the infected weevils because he didn't know they were going to come pouring out on him. So when we, you can go through this area right here. Currently, there's nothing in here, as you can see. And it's easy to get into, but sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain to get out of. It's a little hard to jump through this window. 
So we will get through here. As you come through this door, this is where the infected weevils came out. If you make yourself a right, you're going to get some raw science. Sometimes it's going to be tricky to get, so I recommend jumping up and punching. That's how I got it. And if you follow down here to the straight back, there's going to be a water area. This leads to the, the haze burgle chip. So we're going to come down here. I'm, I'm assuming based on the way this looks. So if you go to the right, there's just like an, it's a dead end, but I think they're probably going to open that up and have more of the lab be down there at some point. So in here, you're going to find the burgle chip on the table, a granola bar. And there's also going to be some raw science inside this room. And then that's going to be pretty much it for what's in here right now. So that's the haze lab. That's the complete walkthrough. And then after you get this burgle chip, of course, you can take it over to burgle, which we'll do right now. We'll take the bur we'll take the burgle chip over to burgle. And uh, actually, real quick, show you there's nothing else down here. So I got the slime lantern out just to show there's nothing. As far as we could see, there was nothing down in the water in this other area. I'm assuming at some point when they do an update in the future, there's probably going to they're either going to extend, I would imagine they're going to extend that cave a little bit, or maybe they'll add rooms to this. There's not really any doors here, so I'm not sure, but this, uh, the lab's kind of, it's pretty easy to get through. It's pretty quick. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head back out and we're going to head over to Burgle and we will tr give him the Burgle chip and show you what that unlocks. All right, so we made our way over to the Oak Lab where Burgle is located. We're going to get Burgle the Haze Lab chip, which I think is called the Weed Killer chip. So we got the new chip. Say continue, and we're gonna see, do you have anything? Can we trade you some raw science? So the two new things that's opened up were the advanced building productions, which give you the grinder, the oven, mushroom slurry, and plant slurry. So we're gonna purchase that for 4,000 raw science. And then the feather roost is 2,500, unlocks all the feather roost building pieces. So those are the two new things you're gonna need, 6,500 raw science. And as you can see, the weed killer chip unlocks. That's what the, the chip inside the haze lab is called, the weed killer chip. So those are the thing it, unlo it unlocks. So that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button as it really does help me get, get my videos out to more people just like you. And if you want to see some future grounded videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button as I've been putting out a lot of grounded videos lately and I plan to keep doing so. There's tons of more ideas I have for videos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.